I'll tell you what, mate, after all the drama and glory of last season, we deserve this holiday. Although, have you noticed? They sell Ballsack coffee here. Ballsack coffee. I can't believe someone is still making money off my old name. Now, if Greeno was still alive, I'd say it was him. But now, I'm guessing it's probably CP, a.k.a. The Shadow. I'm still in shock. I know you said it all along, but I'm in shock. I trusted him. He was my friend. And now, you know, he's disappeared off the face of the earth. He probably knows that we know who he is. Although we haven't heard anything. Maybe, just maybe, he wanted to just scare us by turning off all the lights in Japan. No one knows how powerful he is. And that'll be it. That's got to be it. Maybe. I'm hoping. Do you know what, though? I'm going to try and not think about it. Because we have to complete our Champions League campaign. So we'll enjoy this holiday, get a suntan, have a few drinks, hopefully a few ladies, and we'll get back to work. Right, let's hit the beach. Hello, I'm Bood and welcome to episode 17 of The Road To Anyway. Yes, it is the final episode of this year's Journeyman Adventure. But as always, thanks for joining me one last time. Why not? Hit that thumbs up for me in the series. Get involved in the comments. Subscribe if you're new and hit that bell and you'll never miss anything I do. But I appreciate you. I do. A lot of rhyming there. Um, anyway, I thought we'd start this episode on this screen, which is my entire Road To Anywhere career since this series started all the way back on FM19. Now, the CCPO didn't join me until FM21, but look at all them teams and all those adventures, all the stories we've had together. Um, it's been great. Um, couldn't have done it without him, couldn't have done it without you. Um, he's my best friend in the entire world. Uh, but I do love this series. It takes a lot of work. Um, but I love it but I just feel like it's come to its natural end story wise and time wise really and probably viewership wise if I'm completely honest and I want to do a lot of stories I'm going to make a lot of stories over the next few weeks and have a bit of fun with them if you haven't seen them yet uh, go find my story playlist they stretch out over the years on all the versions of the game but they're a lot of fun and uh, hopefully you'll tune in for them but now now we're going to our final year at Nagoya in Japan We've got the back end of the Champions League and this episode is going to be a bit different than normal because of the way things are laid out. I'm actually going to have to film it over two days. So if you notice um, a change in clothes, that'll be when the next day kicks in. But anyway, enough chatting, let's get into it. So as you know, we drew Sydney FC, the team we had in our group, which I think is a little bit strange in the second round. Now there's a lot of teams from Saudi Arabia, good few from Japan. Got a Korean team, an Australian team, a couple of Chinese teams, um, an Iranian team, and a United Arab Emirates team. It is basically East versus West. Can we represent the West? The East, the East. Never reach shredded wheat. That's how I always remember it, although it didn't work for me then, did it? So then, this is the money, and we're starting here at the beginning of the Champions League, um, because I'd also finally sorted my staff out, because it did get kind of peppered. I lost both my under 18s and reserve uh, assistant managers they've gone on to become managers which is always a good sign a few other spots here and there so I finally fleshed it all out again and I really think this league and how it works I don't know if it's because it's in the future or the setup really helps young players because I had a lot of decent starred young players when I took over and like I said in a previous episode sometimes nothing ever comes of them you see it happen for the computer it never really happens for me I don't know if it's because I put them all in the reserves is it because I've, I've put more time into the staff and they've got great staff down there that's really helping them and um, a lot of them are just fleshing out and I gave quite a few of them a promotion last year and I was going to give quite a few a promotion this year got my little pad here one two three four five six seven of them and you know there's a lot to get through so you know players did leave like I said we sold a couple Tuman, that striker I had a loan from Bayern and they wouldn't loan him back to me and we couldn't buy him because they wanted him to experience a different kind of team. Basically, they didn't want to send him back to Japan. That's the gist of it. Um, but we come all, we come all right with that. Anyway, goalkeeper-wise, we've got Kanda, who still is. He was one of my third choices last year. I promoted him last year. Um, Kubo, who was signed last year, very good goalkeeper. He's now got a cat for Japan. And this is another young goalkeeper. He's 18. I've promoted him from the youth team. At left back, we've got Kashida player that I promoted last year I think from the youth team and a player that I've signed Arnold Diamande or 250 grand Africa has been having all these African leagues on you know that I've downloaded 
got a few in this series and a few on other series where you get a few good players like that. But nothing. At right back, I'm going to put Umeda there, who can play all over, but he's a very good right back. I promoted him last year. And then we've got uh, Azawa, who has a lot of interest. He wants to leave, but I couldn't really find anyone else. Um, and I think I needed his homegrown for the Champions League, so I've kept him. On to the centre half, and we've still got Fabreo, the Brazilian. I signed him on a free when I first came here. Good, solid player. Uh, Nikagawa, who I signed last year, very good player. We've got Sanaka, who's been here ages. Still here, complete right back, kept him. And I've promoted Shinohara. All these youngsters, look at them. They're all playing reserves for like the last two years. Not too much change in the centre of midfield, but we've got Mr. Abad, who assigned last year, top, top player. Uh, Kani, great player. We've had for ages. And we've also got Nakagome, who I've promoted from the youth team. And... Morimoto, who didn't think I showed you in the last one, but he's, I think I talked about him now. Promoted him like halfway through the season last year. Back in midfielder, we've still got Naka. Um, I sold the other one. I might run through the names in a minute. He's 22 and a good player. And of course, Carrera, who again had a lot of interest, especially from Brazil. On the left, we've got Fujiwara, because I signed him on a free last year and he's good at 29, experience, wants to play more. And another promotion from the youth team. I'm loving how I'm getting to do this. You don't, I don't get to do this often, but seeing them progress makes me just want to play in leagues where they have reserve leagues because I just think that's better. I don't know why it seems to work better. It's it, right moment, right time, right staff, but it's been brilliant. No change on the right wing. We've still got F.U. Mori, everyone's favourite, and um, Jimenez, who's still here as well. I mean, there's a few players out there probably a little bit better. But he's good, he knows the club now, so I'm, I'm sticking with him. Now up top, we had a player called Nagata last year. Him and Harata, Harata, Harata Tata, whatever his name is, um, with the two youngsters behind Ch Chuman. Um, and I was going to keep them two youngsters, but I changed my mind a little bit. So we've got Hirate here, and a guy I've signed all the way from England, Mr. Mochizuki. Right, I think got him Southampton for just a few million, three million. Um, <laughs> pad, I love that pad. And um, the best bit about it, I didn't notice he was just up for sale. So he's been out there for a few years, like way before I got to Japan. And and then I put in the deal and everything. And when we signed him, I realised he's actually a Nagoya native. He started his career here, so he's homegrown. Played a friendly against whoever they are and annihilated him. Um, played Anderlecht 1-1 and then beat them 2-1. I won the Super Cup again, which is great. Totally dominated that. But now it's time for the Champions League. It's going to be all about the Champions League right now. For as long as we stay in it. We had some good ding-dong battles with Sydney in the group stage. But the first game at home, we dominated. Absolutely dominated him. 4-1. Just have to go to Australia and finish the job. Always a bit tougher with that mad Aussie crowd. It was 2-2 and quite, quite an equal game. But it is what it is. We were three. On to the quarterfinals where we drew the Korean team, Jeon Buk. Uh, the two Japanese teams got to face each other, Kashima and Kawasaki. I mean, Kawasaki were runners up last year and then all them Saudi teams. Lots of Saudi teams. We played the Koreans, our uh, place first and again, just dominated. Now that's Jimenez on the right and Carrera. Been around a while. That lad we bought, Mochizuki, is brilliant. Well worth three million quid. Uh, Kani and Abad have been playing together now for a while. They're solid. Um, but we've got a youngster on the left. That new left back, the African, brilliant. Um, so I was really pleased with that. That's a good foundation. That, that should get us in the semis. Oh, I gambled. I know it's a Champions League, but 5-1. 5-1, I gambled. Give a lot of kids a chance. Give a lot of players who aren't playing as much a chance. But 16 slash 17 year old in goal and yeah they dominated us but it's not me a team and they still scored two goals which made me feel really proud late on and um, <laughs> it could have been worse so the semi-finals have been drawn at this point and it is basically japan versus saudi arabia and that's what the final will be just gotta get past kawasaki the number one team former number one team in japan until we came along me and the ccpo and changed nagoya's fortunes We've got some good battles with Kawasaki, but how did they go down? Well, I couldn't have been more pleased and angry at the same time with the first leg. Away from home, pleased because we won and a lot of guys played pretty well. 
But we should have killed this game off at their place. Look at it. Kawasaki just did not show up in the slightest. They didn't do a thing, right? We dominated. We should have scored a lot more. So, yeah, it, it was a bit worrying because, you know, 1-0, they could... Shit is in this game. They could turn it around in the next one. Now, to be fair, they scored two, but they were still shit. We were really good. We scored three. We threw. We're into the final. Buzzing with this, right? Really excited about, about it, but, like, this is what I mean because of the time frame of the season and this... It's all about the Champions League. This is why I'm going to have to film this episode over two days. So, of course, I was playing other games while we were getting to that Champions League. But I have rotated. I have prioritised that Champions League because it was so important. It's the last episode. I had a really good chance to get into that Champions League final. And we've done that. Um, and you can see who we play in there is Alte. We were about a mid-level team, I think, in their league. But, you know, I've dropped points in the league and I'm currently second in the league. And I think without the Champions League, I'd have been flying in it again. No excuse, but I have I have given guys games. Um, and sometimes it's worked, sometimes it's not. And then sometimes it works the other way, like that last one. Which I have to highlight because I thought there's only a couple of days before the first Champions League leg, because the final is over two legs. I'm B-teaming it. I don't care who I'm playing. And look what they did. Look at Harata. Oh, actually, the 17th in the Saudi League. Well, I'm not going to go through it. Take forever. We're way into the future, but this league is still stacked with top players. Not only top players, they've got their own top players. Welcome to the King Fad International Stadium here in Saudi Arabia. They're playing a flat 4-4-2. Um, massive, beautiful stadium, to be fair. Is it the one that looks like a tent? Um, now, I've decided to go with experience. My youngsters have been fantastic. But I've got a more experienced team out there. So as always, thank you. Thank you for supporting the series. If you're still here and you're stuck with it from day one, or you've come to it late, like my friend Josh Green, um, who I've not seen for a while, but he's just had a baby, and he sent me a video the other day with his little baby daughter on his lap, saying I'm getting her into boot, and he's watching the first episode on his TV. So yeah, fair play, Josh. So yeah, if you've jumped in late, or you've been with me all the way through, I do appreciate you for not going missing. Um, it's been a lot of fun. It's, it's been daft and crazy as always with the story. Um, aliens, a crazy baddie, people dying. Like it's EastEnders or Game of Thrones. And it's probably not over yet. There's a, a big finale. And oh god, as you can probably tell, we've got to play these games. So I'm going to play this live comment and I'll get them games out of the way in the middle. I think it might only be one. And we'll play this live comment the second leg. Um, and then that'll be me done. I ain't got enough time today. Plus, I've got to play then the whole entire rest of the season, which I'm going to do this afternoon, tomorrow morning. And then I'll, I will film the back end and just I'll review the rest of the season, see what I did, and then jump into the, the finale. It's issues ready. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you enjoy that as daft as it is. Um, yeah, it's been an experience making it, I'll be honest with you. But I just want to go out on a high with the Champions League. Um, I've had many successful series on the road to anywhere. He's taking the piss here, Al Matari. Deserve that, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, I'm one of them. Before the CCPO, I think I did the Pentagon Challenge. And there's been ones where I've just gone in, won, won multiple trophies really easy, really quick, and stacked, stacked them up. And don't get me wrong, I've won a few things. I've won things that pretty much all the teams, I think, apart from True Juice, I won the Jamaican League with Montego Bay, I won the Slovakian Cup. Oh, come on, shit. This is bad, isn't it? Um, I won the, the Cup in Spain. Then I had the Copa del Rey with Getafe. England was great winning the Euros. Forget the World Cup. Um, and then we've done great here in Japan. And we could still win even more. Um, but this is a big one. I think I did, did I get to the semis with Getafe? Champions League. I think I did. Well, this is a, a big opportunity. And we're, after 20 minutes, it's 2 0. But if we can get a goal quick, it'll be great. Here's Fujiwara. We are better than this. Turn it, turn and shoot. Someone shoot. Jimenez, cut it across. Someone shoot. <sighs> that was a golden freaking opportunity. Great. Even though I give everyone a rest. Maybe I should have played the kids. Play without fear, don't they? Um, I'm looking forward to getting through the rest of the season. It Win or lose the Champions League. I've really been enjoying it. Um, love it. Japan did not let me down. My team could be letting me down here. Just a few minutes left in the first half. Go on, Carrera. Come on, let's get one back. Four half time, and then it's the, it changes everything. Like I'm probably going to change a lot of things. I won't be making a five substitution change. So 
I've not made that make mistake since Jimenez. Go on, lay off, mate. Lay off. No, he's going all the way. Well, it's half time and uh, not got a plan. We're two 0 down, but it's still a long way to go. It's like the first quarter, this, isn't it? I think NFL terms. I'm blaming the heat. It's the heat. Um, I do hate two legged finals, though. I mean, I, I might not hate it if we can turn this around. It's annoying, and I think a final should just be a final. But anyway, here's Jimenez. Come on, lad. Come on. We need something. We need something. Get in, Mochizuki. But the referee is going to take that away from me. That goal would have been game changing. Game changing. We need a score. I mean, if it came away from here 2 1, I'd be fine with that. But I've made three changes. We bought three kids on Hirata, uh, Mirimoto, and you made uh, all youngsters at right back in the middle and up front. I mean, Hirata can score goals for fun when he wants to. Here's FU Mori. Come on, lad. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bad. I'm going to jinx myself here, but we've took, took control of this game. It's been mainly us, but we're not capitalising. Here's a bad. Go on, a bad. Go on, a bad. Give me a bad. Go on, Samid, a bad. He's not the best game. He's on a yellow. Here's FU Mori. Come on, lad. Come on. Finds me remote. So the kid. Oh! <laughs> that would have been beautiful, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? I can't do it. Have we got any subs left? I thought I probably haven't ever. He rats in me striker. Can play right wing. So we're just going strikerless. That's all I've done. That is it. Just hang on now. Let's get him back to our place. 2-1 will do me. Not perfect, but it'll do. Right, 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 right. Game on. It's exciting though, isn't it? Look at that. We should have won that. Well, that's me two um, wingers who started injured. Fujiwara broke his toe. And Jimenez pulled his calf muscle. Right then. I mean, sod the league. I don't care about the league. I've got to be team that. I've got to pick the side I want to play, hopefully, in the second leg. And then the opposite team will play against... Kashiwa. So I'll play that now and we'll get back for the second live come. Basically 1-3-1 one, one, and three kids scored. <laughs> Give me an eight those young boys. So we've got a game in hand there, which should he, you know, put us back level with Kashima. And um, once I've got this out of the way and I can get playing the rest of the season, I think we could go on a good run, hopefully. And uh reclaim that title and win as many trophies as possible. But for now, it's the big one. Now I've picked my team. And the best one I could. I mean, the youngster there, I'd love to start him. He's on the bench. So F.U. Moore, he's going to go left. And Harate, who's up striker, can cover. He's going to go on the right. Obviously, we lost our two wingers, which is a bit of a blow. And obviously, Mr. Diomande is suspended for the final. He got that yellow, didn't he? Welcome to the Nagoya Stadium. Here we are in wonderful, beautiful Japan. I feel like this is the end, it's not. I've still got loads to play. I've still got loads of time left with my team, but for now, let's do this. Come out of the blocks quick and fast. So yes, yeah, stories. Um, it was bank holiday weekend, and um, I've been piecing together my first story, um, all the graphics for it, and I've been writing the story. I've got frame story ideas sort of for three or four. Reno, loved, he did one last year, and he's a creative guy. Um, he'd have always made a great YouTuber. But um, I don't think he's got the time or the will. We like to get involved. He's got a couple as well. So I'm hoping I can pump out a good few stories, maybe one, two a week. It gives me a break because I've played a lot of football manager over the last couple of months. Come on, come on, come on. Early goal, early goal, early get in. 2-2. Two, two. Um, because um, I'm going to be off for about 10 days to look after the kids for the back end of the holiday. So I'll be able to do a few stories. But also it's... I have to play a lot. I uh, play a lot because obviously when I do these, I play the season. So it's a lot of time put into it in the morning in my splits at bed. Um, so, oh, F U More. Oh, come on, man. They said it was checking, but we didn't get any of the checking. We just got the goal. I'll take that. So, yeah, I can spend a bit more time with the kids because when you do a story video, you basically come up with the idea, you write the story, which I can usually do quite quickly. And um, graphics, I'm quite good at as well. Knocking them together once I know what I'm making. Um, and then don't have to play the game because when it's these stories it's like oh you basically just you set it up and a holiday 10 years and we'll jump in and look and then a holiday 10 years at the end of the career and we jump in and look um, but I'm quite I'm, I quite like my first one yeah you gotta have faith the faith the faith I gotta have faith the faith the faith the baby remember that if you don't if you're old enough this little earring in before he came out it was always dead obvious. 
don't know why he tried to hide it. I suppose it was different in the 80s, wasn't it? But um, silly, really, isn't it? I can't believe he's dead. And he died on Christmas Day. Mad, really. Such a good voice. But anyway, he's Carrera. Me and the wife watched the Wham! documentary on Netflix a few months ago. It was good. 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 Oh, oh come on, F.U. What's a player? But yeah, I'm thinking of bringing this back. I mean, it's FM25 next year. Whole new game. We don't know what it's going to really be like. We're all expecting something completely different. Oh, bad. Thanks, man. What a sigh of relief you've just given me. And I do want to bring it back. I, don't, I just don't know how. And you'll probably be thinking the same. If you watch this all the way to the end. Probably along the longest episode of the series, this one. Um, I've got ideas. I've always got ideas. And I'm, I'm excited. I wish I could do more. I mean, it, it's just one of them. I mean, you put I put a lot of time into it. And I don't do YouTube for... Oh, we're getting a penalty. This is, this is it, isn't it? Here we go. Just kill them. Let's kill them off. I'll make some subs if you bang this in. Oh, bad. Come on, kiddo. Yeah, I've said it before. I don't do YouTube for views and subs and all that. I do it because I enjoy it. Um, but when you see views crash, you do think to yourself, is it coming towards the end? I start working my way to the end. Um, especially on a series like this, that it does take up a lot. And like I say to the wife every year now, she gets, she gets road to anywhere time and she's like, oh. it does take a lot. Planning and storing and writing scripts and then working with multiple people and waiting for them to send you stuff and and putting it all together. Where it was on a normal series, it's just you in it, just playing the game. Do you know what I mean? But I do love it. I wish it could have gone on longer. I think the ending's fitting and it'll be exciting next year. And this is brilliant. I knew, right? I had faith. I knew if we could get them back to our place and so we'd have a massive deficit, we would be fine. I didn't think it'd be 5 0 though. Yeah, we're going to be champions of Asia. Mental buzzing though. I'm looking forward to this at work all morning. Just get home, get this done. So happy, I'm not making any more changes. Shall I? Actually, I will. He's a kid, isn't he? I'm going to give that kid a chance. I've put on loads of the youth players here. 5 0. Just got to finish this season strong now and win that title back. Like I said, alert. Oh my God. Were you doubting us after that first leg? Eh? But yeah, um, the end of this now, like I said, I'll get play through it and we'll do a review at the end of the season. No more live comms. I think two's enough early doors. And then I hope you enjoy the end. And I hope you enjoyed that. Because that is absolutely brilliant. thought I was going to end this series with zero Champions League wins. And this is just a fitting one. What is it come with Japan? I've really enjoyed Japan and I've won the big one. With a Japanese team. Turned them around from mid-table to the best team in Japan. And the season's not over. This is absolutely brilliant. I've entered the Asian Hall of Fame, basically. Um, but yeah, buzzing with that. Absolutely buzzing. got 3.2 million, which is mega bucks for us. Mega money. So that is it for the day. It'll be a split second for you, but you can see I'm still in the cups. I've got all the leagues to play. I'll probably get through that over the next few hours, get it done tonight, and I'll film that next section tomorrow so you can come out on the Wednesday. Thank you. I'll see you later. Welcome back. It's a brand new day and a brand new outfit, although I'll try and keep the theme together. And I'm wearing my FC United of Manchester training top, which I got when I went to film a match day vlog, which I've still got all the footage for. I've just never turned it into a vlog because something happened. Although I think I might, I've got a lot of time coming off. Anyway, finish the season. You know, we started well, we won the Super Cup and of course the Champions League. Um, and, and you know, put a lot of faith in young players. Were they going to be good enough for the long haul? Maybe not, but for the future of this club, if there was one, I think so. Yes, we finished runners up in the league. Lost quite a few games, to be fair. Eight, drew six, one twenty-four. Although, a, a couple of games ago, I beat the champions. 7-0, where's that? 7 bloody nil. And then I won my next game, but they won and it was too late. But anyway, you know, we lost the title. I'm, ch I'm a Champions League winner. Last year we were brilliant in the league. We ran away with it, didn't we? Um, and like I said, you know, I did put a bit of investment in youth and early in the early doors in the season, I was prioritising the Champions League. But, you know, we had a few bad runs. There's a few injuries. You know, my heart was in it. And uh, I could, this team is still very good. Um, but sometimes maybe that youth wasn't fully there. But that youth has a lot of potential. Like I said, in a, an imaginary universe, this team would go on and dominate if you can keep hold of those young players. League Cup, I got to the final again and lost it on bloody penalties to Tokyo V. And I mean, look at that. The quarters, the semis were bonkers. I'll be honest with you. Um, so I was a bit, I was a bit gutted about that because... 
I've never won that while I was here. It would have been nice. And the Emperor's Cup, we're out in the fourth round, got beat by Kashima, the champions, who are a good team, to be fair. And I'm totally cool with that. I played, honestly, I played the rest of this season with a smile on my face because I achieved what I wanted to achieve. Would have been nice to have wrapped it up with a couple more trophies. Why not? Um, but I still think we've done really good work here in Japan. And this squad's brilliant. Honestly, I still think it's good. Carrera's a great player from midfield. And the lad we brought in from Southampton, uh, Mochizuki, scored me 32 goals. He was great. And there's a lot of youth. Like, if I change it to general info, I mean, look at the age. Got a 17 year old all the way down here. Good third of the squad, maybe more, is really young with lots of potential. So, you know, I might play it. I've got a few weeks off. I might have a cheeky season myself. I mean, one positive, of course, I've started playing the Champions League. Why not? And I played 4 1 4. I mean, could they? Could I? In an imaginary world, go back to back in the Champions League. I've had a cracking career and I've had a lot of success towards the end of it. Um, True Juice and Montego Bay. Then I kind of forget about this and I shouldn't, but it was Technico in Ecuador and um, was great. I don't think we won anything there, but I enjoyed it. Then we went off to Slovakia to FCK. We won the cup. Getafe was brilliant. I love that kind of club. That's not really a big hitter, but we did really, really well. England was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Apart from the World Cup. And then finally getting to Japan after trying early doors and failing. Um, I've really enjoyed Japan. So I'm going to end the series here where it all began with True Juice. I turned the Jamaican leagues off a while ago, um, but I can't believe how fast it feels like it's gone, but it's also feel like so much has happened. But I just want to thank you. Anyone who's given a thumbs up or a comment or a subscription from this series, but I really appreciate it. But your views been the most important thing. I really enjoyed the series. It's quite sad that it's ending, but oh, you've had fun this year with me and the CCPO, I really do appreciate it, I generally do, so let's finish it, let's wrap it up, let's get to it. The big finale, do we find out who the shadow is? Does everybody die? I don't know, well I do know, but now you're gonna find out, so thank you as always. Stay happy, stay safe, I'm booed. Keep around for me stories, are coming soon. Take care, man, I'll see you later. Do you know what, Paul? I think we can both admit that our time in Japan has been a massive success. It was epic i've loved every minute of it and it was well worth the wait and if i'm honest i thought it was going to be the last job on this journeyman adventure but i've changed my mind what am i thinking i'm thinking that after this holiday in australia we phone around get a new agent and find a new job and head on down that road on a new adventure what why are you looking out the window weird what's going on You're right. If we're going to Australia, why are there mountains and snow outside? A bit strange, that, isn't it? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm welcome aboard Shadow Airways. Uh, we hope you are not sitting comfortably and you have an absolutely terrible flight to your final destination. It's the Shadow. AKA CP. We know who you are. He's in control of the plane. Shit! What are we gonna do? Finally. Hello, boys. It's been a long time, old friends. What are you playing at, Shadow? AKA CP. We know it's you. The CCPO had your voice decoded, so stop messing about with the silly voice and the silly mask and talk to us man to men. Ha <laughs> ha As always, you are the free legged horse last across the finish line. Come on. Who are you? Maybe I am the man with the world's greatest hair, CP. Or could I be the tactical genius himself, Joe Page? Or maybe everyone's favourite, cheeky scouser, Limo. No, wait. How about the Hayfield Medicine legend himself, Brian King? Or maybe my new favourite, the Yorkshire James Bond, Bobby Smith. In fact, I am none of these idiots. Because just like Mr. Wolf, they are all dead. Check your phone. I've sent you a picture of my new boy band. Yes, every single one, including the real CP himself. You're an evil bastard, seriously. Whoever you are, you're a total mentalist. You're like a shit bomb villain and a freaking love child with a wish, Dr. Doom. Come on. 
I've had enough of this now. Who are you? I'm sick of all the drama. Some think of me as a ghost, others a shadow or a phantom, but all those I let see my face will pay their final debt to me. And yours is overdue. Greeno! Greeno, are you taking the piss? You're dead? I, I've seen your ghost. All games and illusions, food. Yes, I was blown up by Mr. Wolf. But luck was shining down on me that day. You see, my driver took the full force out of the blast. All 30 stone of him. I woke up in the woods without a scratch on me and the smell of barbecue pork. But the toe we found in the wreckage, it matched your DNA. The world had to think I was dead if I was to get my revenge. As the wreckage was smouldering away, I cut off my toe and threw it into the car. You're f***ing crazy. Seriously. That doesn't explain all this all, does it? How the hell have you afforded this whole operation? I'm a genius. I'm like you, you mank cretin. Uh, I took myself over to Mr. Wolf's house and I cut off his head in his sleep with my trusty chainsaw. Then I took his hand and I unlocked his safe. In there was five million pounds of cold hard cash. And whilst you two was rotten away in prison, I used that money and created an empire. A five billion pound criminal empire. Great. Sounds awesome. I still don't understand why you'd go to all these lengths to hurt me and CCPO when you're some super rich crime boss. Why not just live your life, mate? Boot, I hate you. Very fibre of my being. You thought you could disrespect me. Discard me like I was nothing. I would have made you both immortal. No. You know, I was happy knowing you were rotten away in prison. But in true booed fashion, you somehow weaseled your way out. I thought you could carry on with life without paying your debts. All debts must be paid. None can be forgiven. What debt? Seriously, I trusted you way more than I should have and I kept you around way longer than I should have. All this pain and death and suffering is your fault. So what's next? More games? No, the games are over now. We're at the closing ceremony. Killing you two would have been a kindness. But that wasn't the debt to be paid. You had to suffer. You had to lose everything. Just like you made me lose everything. The only thing I can't decide is whether to dip you in a vat of acid, inch by inch, just like I did to your new friend Bobby Barks. Oh, such a joy watching him cry for his mummy as he slowly melted. Or maybe I could cut you in those tiny balls all the way up. One thing I do know, killing him first, I'm going to make you watch me heal the skin off his bones. I don't even want to know how you got that on here, CCPO. But haven't we been here before? You don't have the balls to pull that trigger. Actually, pal, I'm intrigued. How the hell did you get that on board? Up your ass! How many things have you got stashed? Up your ass! Actually, I don't want to know. Now stop messing around and shoot him. The logistics of it itself, I mean, it's, it's a right angle. It's just like... Right, anyway, whoa, he's got a gun beer and all that I mean god it's like trying to watch monkeys use tools for the first time you shoot that thing in here in this pressurised airplane we all go down if somehow that bullet gets lodged in me well I'm the only pilot on board we all go down so why don't you pass that gun over to me you f too fast shoot him mate seriously it's better to die quickly than get tortured to death by this muppet I'm sorry you two really do get the best out of me. But, uh, don't listen to your boyfriend, CCPO. Stay cool. Pass me the gun. Maybe I won't rip all your teeth out. What's this? What are you giving me? A letter. Have you had this up your ass as well? Actually, don't answer that. What's it for? Oh, what's going on? Neat trick. I was wondering when your space buddies would turn up. You see, now... You give me the chance to track them, and when they do eventually drop food off, I'm going to shoot them out of the sky. But 
Why didn't they save you too? <laughs> well, look who finally grew a pair of balls. So you're going to take out me once and for all, are you? Well, come on then. Let's end this. Ah! What the hell's just happened? Bob. Wow. Nice one, mate. Where's CCPO? What do you mean? He only asked for me to get beamed up. Lock onto him. Beam him up straight away. Seriously? But you're trying to tell me he's took himself out to take out Greeno as well? No. This cannot be happening, my friend cannot be dead. He can't be dead. Seriously. Oh, wait, actually, the letter. The letter. He sent me a letter. Please. Be some elaborate explanation to how he escaped and got away with it. Dear Bood, if you're reading this letter, it means I'm no longer with you and that I've had to sacrifice myself to save the best friend I've ever had. A few months back, I realised that at some point, to end all this trouble with the shadow, I may need to prepare for the worst. So I concealed a gun up my anus, and I wrote this letter for you explaining why, just in case. Hopefully my death has meant that the shadow is no more, and that you are now free to be you, and that you can live your life however you choose with nobody coming after you. It's been a blast, mate. Before you invited me on your journeyman adventure, I was just a loser, plodding through life with a cone on his head. But you gave me a purpose. You gave me a brother, and I will always love you for that, dude. We are family, and I want you to laugh at the bad times and remember all those good times. And whenever you see a cone on a training pitch or some annoying roadworks on the M60 motorway with endless lines of cones as far as the eye can see, just remember me. I'll be looking down on you until the day we meet again, my friend. You may be a twat in a hat, but you're my twat in a hat. Love always, your trusty CCPO.